Hey, good morning folks. Jim Green here from Colonial Beach and I happen to be in an area here on a beach called The Point. Now, why do we call it The Point on Colonial Beach? Well, it's on the southern point as far as the Colonial Beach town goes. Uh, just a little bit of history about The Point as well. Uh, the Point used to be an area where there were a lot of uh, uh, oyster uh, processing factories and stuff like that down here, but they kind of died out. And around the 1930s, late 1930s, there was a man by the name of Martin Lunsford that came down here. Uh, he came down on a little boat trip, and a Higgins boat, by the way, which is neat. That's a total different story. But the thing about it is, is Mr. Higgins, uh, Mr. Lunsford took a look around and he said, you know what, this place could probably get developed. And then, fast forward, he put the things in motion to where we currently have today the Colonial Beach Yacht Club. Absolutely beautiful. Now we got a little bit of breeze out here, as you can see today, and if you take a look at our palm trees, probably around about 10, 15 miles an hour. But the temperature is only going to be about high of 82 today, so it's going to be a great day. Something else about Mr. Uh, Unsford that I wanted to point out too. He, uh, through because he was a guy that was, you know, concerned about his town and things like that. He got a mariner, he saved a mariner and was awarded by the U.S. Coast Guard, commemorated by them for saving a life off of here, uh, as far as uh, here at Colonial Beach. The only thing that I wanted to point out is that current area where the Yacht Club is, we have a place called the Dockside Restaurant. The Dockside Restaurant also has a tiki bar, because we like tiki bars on Colonial Beach. And I just want to point out that today between 1230 and 430, you're going to have uh, J.D. Roberts out there. J.D. Roberts is really, really good up and coming artist. And J.D., here's what he does. He does a lot of things as far as uh, Luke Combs and Travis Tritt. And if you like Brooks and Dunn, that's kind of his genre that he goes to. Then after that, we're going to have Casey Patterson. He also in the country genre. But the Peace de Resistance, or the main lineup for tonight, is going to be a Trilogy. Trilogy is a uh, band that does every kind of cover you could possibly think of. Salt and Pepper, Katy Perry, Roar, it doesn't matter. They play at Nickelback Cure, uh, up and down as far as uh, anything that you want to hear as far as music goes. So that's a good time. Now, I also want to tell you about something else. We've got a fantastic car show that's going to be going on. It's going to be right up here in Colonial Beach. It's more central Colonial Beach, as I'll call it. It's up in front of the riverboat is where the car show is going to be at. Uh, I was at it last year. It's beautiful. It's going to run from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock, rain or shine. Well, guess what? It's going to be shine. We're looking at a high of about 85 degrees tomorrow, partly cloudy, kind of like today. A couple of degrees warmer, but it's going to be neat. Now, if you want to bring your car down and enter it into the car show, it's going to cost you $20 tomorrow to enter your car. But admission for everybody's free. So, hey, kids, this is a great way to get Dad out. Uh, get them to see something that they like because guys like cars. It'll be a good time. Uh, and it is free. And it's at, like I said before, there were all kinds of cars there last year. And I think that you'll absolutely enjoy it. That event's being put on by the Colonial Beach Chamber of Commerce. They do all kinds of good things for us around here. I think it's a fantastic way to spend Father's Day. I appreciate you listening to me. And we look forward to seeing you because things are happening here at the beach.